Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, it means a lot to me to kind of support uh, the poetry, the Open Mic, the Poet Laureate program. I'm Tom Cannon. I'm the Poet Laureate of Oshkosh. I'm the first one. And thank you. And so my job is to foster creativity in Oshkosh, kind of promote literacy and things like that. And uh, so I'm really pleased that uh, we have this forum at Planet Perk. Um, and over this, yeah, yay, thank you, Planet Perk. So we'll get started. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about an event. Like over the summer, one of my events was to hold this workshop in Winnicani at this thing called the Museum of Writing Instruments. It's like this hidden little gem in Winnicani. It's very small. It just, these wonderful people um, run it, and they decided to have a, uh, a poetry workshop, and it was really good. I expected it to be great, especially expected it to be really fun, but it was actually an amazing experience. And uh, there was a few seasoned citizens, and there's these two girls, one was, t their sisters, one was 10, the other one was middle school. And uh, I learned a lot. I learned through, especially those two, ch two girls' eyes, that creativity is not just fun, it uh, moves a person forward in understanding the world. I also learned that specific forms of poetry fosters creativity. Those rules really spur you on to uh, rise to the challenge. Um, and so we tried an F3 poem. That's a, F3 poem is 10 lines. The first line is one syllable. The second line is two syllables. And so on until you get to 10 lines. And I wish I had the poem of the little girl that wrote about going up to her cabin because it really showed how she had to use the specific word, the right choice to get the right syllable. And other times, she couldn't just say, we were on the beach. She had to use more syllables and say, and describe, get an exact image of the water and the sand meeting. And then she, went, she couldn't just talk about fishing. She had to create this image of fishing and the sun slowly rising up in the sky. For my poem, um, I kind of combined the two, two things. I combined the F3 poem with the technique of repetition. You repeat a line, you repeat words and uh, for rhythm, and often it's to tell the, the reader that this is really important. I won't go that far with my poem. So I had, I had the poem, the line of repetition, and then on each line I, I added on another syllable. And uh, it ended up touching on something that was bothering me at work didn't hurt that uh, it kind of fit with my theme of a book I wrote, The Tower of Apathy. And some people would be happy to know that there's a bonus, it rhymed. So here's that poem. You told me no. You told me to go. You told me that won't work. You told me you are a jerk. You told me I don't know what's wrong. You told me not to come on too strong. You told me, yes, you are part of our team. You told me, now, go stick your head in a stream. You told me you could be a value, you were a valued employee. You told me the new procedures don't talk to me. Uh, let me just do another quick poem, and then I'll hand it over uh, to Tom. And I just want to point out, it's kind of the neat thing is, um, the, uh, the Wisconsin Poet Laureate, Dasha Kelly Hamilton, she's the Milwaukee Poet Laureate and the Wisconsin Poet Laureate. She has a program, it's called Line Meant, and uh, it's like a poetry exchange. You take a line of poem, I have a poem, and then people write poems that are um, connected to it. And so the prompt was, every distance seemed like an opening. Life begins today, it stretches out like a stage whisper like a heavy fog. That is why now matters. There was a time long ago when visibility was infinite. Yet didn't we still white knuckle it? The horizon too far away was slow motion panic. Each day roads, more roads appeared. Each distance seemed like an opening at those ever looping intersections of fate. 
We could step off in any direction. We feared every direction was wrong, when every direction was right, if we had only known. So check out Dash Kelly Hamilton's uh, alignment. And now, to, no further ado, Tom, you want to come up here?